friends, it's Miss Jessica again. I wanted to talk to you today about a parable from the Bible. Do you guys remember what a parable is? Yeah, it's a story. It's a story in the Bible that teaches us something. Well, this parable is about three people. They were workers um, for this man, and he went off for a while. And he said, I am I'm going to go on a trip. And while I'm gone, I'm going to leave my money with you guys. And you guys are going to be in charge of things. So the first worker, he left a hundred dollars. And the second worker, he left $50, which is still a lot of money. And the third worker, he left $10. That worker was not that happy. So the first worker had the hundred dollars and he invested it and doubled the money. And the second worker did the same thing. And the third worker that was so mad because he only had $10, he just buried it. Because he was like, what? These guys who do the same amount of work I do got way more money than I did. I'm so angry about this. So he just, he buried the money. So when the owner came back, he was like, what happened, guys? How did you do? And the first one was like, I took that hundred dollars and I doubled it to $200. And the owner was very pleased. And the second person was like, I took my $50 and I invested it and I have a hundred dollars now. Great job. Then he went to the third worker and he was like, okay, where's your money? And he was like, it's over there. I buried it in the ground because you only gave me $10. So what was I supposed to do with it? And the owner was very sad because he did not do what he was supposed to do. So he told the first two, oh, you guys did so great. And because I could trust you with this little responsibility, I am going to leave you all of the rest of this because I know that I can trust you to do the right thing. Wait a second. All that other guy needed to do was just do the right thing with his $10. Man. Have you guys ever heard Spider-Man? Spider-Man says, with great power comes... Yep. Great responsibility. Have you guys heard that before? Yeah, we've heard it a lot at my house. So that's kind of what that parable was like. He, the, the owner needed to know that these people could handle great responsibilities before he gave them a lot of power, right? Yeah, because the third guy, he couldn't even handle a little bit of responsibility. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't do great with great power. It's the same thing with us sometimes, right? Sometimes we know people who have great singing voices, or we know people who can add big, huge numbers in their head with no problem. They never even need a calculator. They're so smart. Or we have friends that can spell every single word without ever messing one up. And they just know what all of the words mean. They don't have to look them up. They're just, they're amazing. And we have people that can tap dance. And we have people that can grow beautiful flowers or giant fruits and vegetables, right? They all have these great talents and that's amazing. But we also have people that have little talents, right? We have people that can always make us smile. We have people that can be kind all of the time. We have people that can stack cans in their cabinet so that they fit the best way. We have people who can take a bunch of leftover food in their fridge and make delicious casseroles. These are all important, right? The person that had $100 and the person that had $10 were the same level of important, right? They just decided to do what they were supposed to. And then they got more power and more responsibility. So when we have talents, even if they're little talents, even if they're big talents, even if we think they're important, even if we don't think they're important, God thinks they're important. And we are servants of Christ when we are doing things with the gifts that he's given us. So like the owner gave the workers money and they used the money that he gave them to build more money, we can use the gifts that God gives us to do great things. And it's wonderful. And we all have special talents inside of us. And the best part is we all have different talents. 
Everybody's got something that makes them special and something that they can do better than anybody else. And that is amazing. I want to know what you think your special talent is. So if you think that you have something that's so amazing or that it's really cool or something you're really proud of, I want you to let me know. Okay, friends? Perfect. Let's get our praying hands ready. Dear Lord, thank you for blessing us all with amazing powers. Thank you for reminding us that we are all special in your eyes. And thank you for giving us the opportunity to share our talents and gifts with the world. In your name we pray. Amen. Have the very, very, very best week, friends. It is almost Thanksgiving. It is almost the end of November, which then means December. And it's just this whole time is flying by and I miss my friends so much. I hope I get to see you soon. I hope that you are either participating or planning to visit our living nativity. If you want more information on that, you can talk to me or Miss Denise about it because we would love to have you have the very, very best week friends. Bye. Bye.